Hello friends, welcome to Glint Pixel channel. Today I am here with another important topic that is how to slice from mobile PSD. The important thing of this tutorial is how to slice for iPhone and Android only from one PSD. If you are going to use custom app for iPhone and Android and your iPhone PSD files are ready then you don't need to create Android PSD files. Now I will tell you how you can use iPhone slice for Android. Please watch complete video carefully. As you know in my previous lecture I had designed these two screens login and sign up. Now I am going to slice with the same app. If you didn't watch my this video so far I am going to mention that link in the description. So don't forget to watch that video. Let's start with the slicing. First of all we need to create folders for iPhone and Android iPhone Android in iPhone we need to create uh, more folders for simple and retina versions from 3x to 1x short key of new folder in windows control shift n onyx and 4s in android we need four folders for different resolutions Double XH DPI, Double XH DPI, X H DPI, and H DPI. I am going to show you the document where I have written the sizes already for you. You can see here different resolution sizes for iPhone and uh, android devices let's open the splash file i have created this file today the important thing is uh, where we have full background we need to save it as it is according to the dimensions of the device we need to save uh, full background with these sizes these are different sizes of uh, the devices which covers almost all resolutions of android devices and these resolutions covers almost all devices of iPhone. We are not going to slice the size between 1080 by 1440 and 720 by 480. So these sizes will automatically cover the gap of the devices which we are not going to slice now. So we need to slice a full background image with these sizes. So you can say we need to save four resolution for the full background where there is no icon on the screen. As you know, this is a splash. We need to save it as it is. We are not going to save logo separately. We need this screen full as it is. First of all, let me show you its size. What dimensions I have used for this. Image size. Actually, it is a six plus size of iPhone. You can see 1242 by 2208. I am going to save it as safer web. PNG for good quality. 3x. Name it splash. Save. Next size is iPhone 6, 7, 50 by 13, 34. We can change size from here. 750. You can see the height is automatically changed according to proportion. There is one pixel difference. We can cover from here. 13, 34. Press save. 2x. Flash save next size is 640 by 1136 here you can see two pixel difference 36 
next size is 640 by 960 I think we need to change it from here image size 640 now the height is 1138 press ok we need its height 960 canvas size 960 it will cut it from top and bottom but my logo will remain in the center save for web you can see the size here 640 by 960 save for us splash now I'm going to tell you how you can slice the icons let's open other file of login registration screen sign up sign in we need to slice a few things from this screen we need to slice separate background this logo these two icons Facebook and Twitter icons rest will be done by the developers hide background select your logo you can select any transparent area and hide this layer it should be transparent press ctrl shift c press ctrl new press ok ctrl v paste here you can see our logo is here we need to save it save for web as it is we don't need to change anything actually it is a size for 3x 3x save login logo save now we need to save it for 2x and uh, we have dimension 750 by 1334 for iPhone 6 and its slice should be the percentage become 66 percent save for web again now we need to save it in 2x folder for iPhone 6 it should be 66 percent you can change percentage from here save in 2x login logo save now we need to save it for 1x save for web for 1x we have percentage 33.33% .33%. Thirty three point three three percent save in one X login logo save now we need to save for four S device what you need to do is only just copy your icon from one X control C and paste in 4s it will work for 4s but you know the full device dimension is different from 1x to 4s but the icons will be used same let's come back let me save a few more icons close this file select this icon Control shift c Control N, OK, paste here, Control V, save for web, save it in 3x folder, username, icon, press OK, 66% for 2x, save it, 30. 3.33 percent for 1x and that will be used for 4s for lock icon I am going to use the same strategy
as you can see my icons are completed for iphone you can see here slicing is done for iphone these were actually only two screens but you could have more than two screens four to five screens or the complete flow of application so you don't need to slice them one by one you can create the action you only need to slice for the 3x and for the rest of the devices for 1, 2x uh, and 4s you need to create an action in Adobe Photoshop and all slicing will be done automatically for this you can see my this uh, video how to create action in Adobe Photoshop and how you can change the size of different images and icons within seconds and minutes so don't forget to watch my this video I'm going to mention this link in the description as well let's see how we can slice for the Android devices come back in the slicing folder we have four different devices sizes here first of all we need to do slice for triple x hdpi interesting thing is our iphone 3x slice will be used as it is for the triple x hdpi copy from here and paste here large icons because you can see there is not much difference between the iPhone 6 Plus and the triple X HDPI sizes. Triple X HDPI dimension is slightly bigger from iPhone. So what we need to do, we only need to change the splash size of the Android X triple X HDPI. Close this file. You can see here size 1242 by 2208. Let's change its width and height width is 1440 1440 you can see height is 2560 that is changed automatically that means proportionally that is fine so well when you are changing the dimensions like this your artwork should be a smart object or should be in the vector shape that shouldn't be pixelated let's save it save for web You can see the size here, the same triple X HDPI size. Save it in the Android. Replace with this splash. Next size is 1080 by 1920. Again, save for web. 1080. You can see height is automatically changed, and that is according to proportion it is not going out of from our described size save for web again 1080 you can see height is automatically changed that is as per our document 1920 save it in double x hdpi next size is 720 by 1280 Next size is 480 by 854. It is slightly different from other sizes. It is not proportionally. 480. Press OK. And in canvas size, we can change its height. 854. Save for web. in HDPI splash so our supply screens are saved for all four screens for all four devices and resolutions close it Control W let's open our login file I'm going to use these two icons as a sample how to save for double X HDPI because you know for triple X HDPI our same 6 plus slicing will be used we just need to slice for these three resolutions double x HDPI x HDPI and HDPI so I'm going to slice for double x HDPI for now please keep in mind I didn't change the size this is same 6 plus size and from this screen I will slice for Android devices
control shift c control n control v for double x hdpi icon should be 86.96% save it username icon save it next size is for xhdpi that should be 57.97 save it in xhdpi next size is 38.65 it will be working for hdpi save it If you want to see only this icon and you want to hide all other layers, just click on this I icon with Alt key. Select this icon. And when it's done, click again with Alt key like this. Control Shift C, Control N, Control V, save it, save for web. We need to save it for double X. So copy this it is six point nine six. Save it. Next, next size is 57.97. Save it. XHDPI, save it. Next size is 38.65. Save it. let's check our folder you can see these two icon and supply screen here are all icons in HDPI so guys you can use the same trick for the slicing of iPhone and Android I have saved icon separately you just need to create action you just need to create slice for one device and you have to create action in Adobe Photoshop for the rest of the sizes. Now you know what is the size, what is the percentage for each device. I have shown you the document. Here all sizes are mentioned. You can note it down in your notebook and you can use always whenever you need to slice for different devices. If you want to ask anything from me regarding this slicing, you can write your comment in the comment section. I will reply to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell button so you can get the notification timely and keep watching my videos. Thank you very much. Bye.